I have been tagged in the UL luxury item viral that's going around by Cam Hikes, so I thought I'd put this video together to show you guys what my top luxury items are that I take with me on a hike. Uh, stick around because at the end of the video I'm going to be showing you guys who I've nominated for this challenge, uh, so let's go. <laughs> Hello long distance hikers and long term world travellers, Russ here bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. Okay so the first luxury item that I take with me on all of my backpacking trips right now is my Canon M50 which I'm shooting this video on now. I bought it in the John Lewis outlet here in Swindon for about £650 so it was a really good deal. Uh, it comes with an 18 to 150 lens so it's got a really good zoom on it. It isn't the lightest of cameras when you compare that to my Sony RX100. This thing comes in at 387 grams. So I am compromising a little bit of weight for some superior image quality and that beautiful zoom lens that I just love using. Another really good thing that this camera has that my RX100 doesn't is a hot shoot and a mic input so I can get some also really superior sound quality because I can put an external mic with a windshield on there because uh, I really hate that wind noise and disturbance that you get on smaller cameras, especially even on your phone. So again, I am definitely compromising on weight and really want this really good camera because I absolutely love making videos for you guys. Okay so the second luxury item that I take with me on my hikes is of course the microphone that is sat on top. Uh, it's the Rode Video Micro. I absolutely love it. It's got a really high quality sound for its size. It weighs just 42 grams and it cost me about 45 or 50 quid. I'm not entirely sure. I'll also be putting links in the description of this video to all of the products so you can go and check them out. Again I love this microphone and uh, the reason why I take it with me as well as the camera is just because I love having that production value and making really high quality videos for you. My third luxury backpacking item has to be my DJI Mavic Air drone. Again, I use it for the production value and getting those different shots in all of my videos that uh, I know you guys really like. The DJI Mavic Air drone weighs in at 429 grams and costs 769 pounds on the website at the time of making this video. So it's not the cheapest of cameras, but what you get in such a small little package is absolutely amazing uh, and it really adds another level to my videos as well. I generally tend to take this on hikes that are about two or three days long just because I'd have to carry a lot of batteries and they don't last long. I think you get about 20 minutes of flight time. So uh, I definitely will not be bringing the drone on the PCT next year in 2020. Uh, obviously for that fact, but also because uh, it's very difficult to fly drones in America. There's a lot of rules and regulations, but most of all while on the PCT, I really don't want to be disturbing wildlife or other hikers or damaging anything. Uh, it's just too much of a risk. Whereas here in the UK, uh, the hiking trails are a lot more built up and it's a lot easier to get the drone out here. So, so far we've just mainly gone over my camera gear and yes, I could definitely shave off a few pounds if I just took my Sony RX100 on my hikes. Uh, but like I said, I just absolutely love using those bits of camera gear to add another level to my videos, which I know you guys enjoy. For me, making these videos uh, is an absolute joy of mine and uh, I just love making really high quality stuff, uh, using the lens on this camera to really zoom in on things, using the drone to get a different perspective. Uh, I just love making the videos as well, so when they go into post, I enjoy seeing what shots that I've taken and stitching them all together uh, and uploading them to YouTube. It's just one of my absolute passions. So yeah, I'm definitely sacrificing a lot of weight to add the camera gear in, but it's worth it for me. Okay, so my fourth piece of ultralight luxury backpacking gear has to be my Katabatic Gear 30 degree down sleeping quilt. It is definitely one of the more pricier things in my kit list at $340 at the base price, but it only weighs 496 grams, so it's super, super light. A sleeping bag or a sleeping quilt is definitely one of the more essential items of any hiker's kit list, but because of the price of this thing, because of the weight and the quality of the materials are so, so good, I would consider this one of my luxury items. I could have always gone for a much cheaper sleeping bag. I know that, but I just wanted the best. So yeah, that's why I'd class it as another luxury item. Okay, my fifth and final uh, luxury ultralight backpacking piece of kit has got to be my MSR Pocket Rocket 2 stove. A lot of people out there, they do go stoveless and they do just cold soak their food. But for me, I just need that hot cup of coffee in the morning. I need that hot dehydrated meal. It's something to look forward to at the end of every single one of my days hiking. Uh, so I really enjoy having that luxury. I will consider going stoveless in the future, but the MSR Pocket Rocket 2 stove is so 
ultra lightweight and the uh, the gas bottle on the bottom is so so small I don't think I'm really compromising much weight for that luxury so it's a definite plus for me the MSR Pocket Rocket 2 stove uh, is coming in on Amazon in a combo kit with the gas bottle included at about £62. Uh, again, I'll put a link in the description so you can go and check that out. Uh, so yeah, I don't think it's the cheapest of stoves either, but for the size and the weight, uh, it's a really, really good deal. I don't think it's one of the cheapest stoves out there by any means, but for the size and the weight and the convenience of having that hot boiling water at the end of the day, uh, it's definitely one to stay in my kit list for quite a while. It says on Amazon that it weighs about 408 grams, and I think that's the stove plus the gas bottle, so I'm not entirely sure how much just the stove weighs, but that's still pretty light for the full kit uh, with everything included. Okay everybody, now it is time for my nominees. I'm nominating these people because they're always commenting on my videos and always viewing. They've been subscribed to my channel for quite some time now, uh, so thank you all very much for watching and I'm really looking forward to hearing what your luxury backpacking items are. Okay, my first nominee is Ben from Londoner Outdoors. He uh, really likes his wild camping and has some really cool kits, so I can't wait to find out what your luxury items are. My second nominee is Jody from Jods Harrison. Uh, on his channel, he does a lot of walks around the South Southwest Coastal Path, which is a hike that I'm really looking forward to doing this year, which is 630 miles, and he's done a lot of sections of that, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what your luxury items are as well. And my third and final nominee is Brad from Northern Peak. He lives out in the Pacific Northwest in the USA and does a lot of exploration videos and focuses a lot on camera gear, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what your luxury items are as well. I will be putting links to all of those guys' channels in the description below, so do check them out, hit that subscribe button so you can look forward to seeing their luxury items. Ben does some really technical wild camping stuff and has a lot of different gear so that's really interesting. Uh, Jody has a lot of humour and some really good music choices in his videos on the Southwest Coastal Path. Brad as I said before is really into his camera gear uh, and taking those out on his hikes and his treks and there's a lot of tips on that too. They're all really good guys and uh, I really thank them very much for watching all of my videos and subscribing and keeping engaged with my content. Okay then folks, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, then hit that thumbs up. Do be sure to watch either of the videos to my side here. Also, if you haven't done so already, do consider subscribing to this channel for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.